Andy, how are you doing this morning? Oh, good morning, Richard. How are you doing? Fine, fine. What uh, What would you like to say this Sunday morning? Well, I've, I've heard some comments from that previous caller about truck driving. Um, I'm a veteran of truck driving for over 32 years. I've driven in the UK, I've driven in, in Europe, and I've also driven in North America for five years, in Canada and the US. You've been so around I've a bit been, then, driving. I, I've driven for a long time, and I hate my job with a passion every single moment of the day. And I actually work for a very good company now. Now, some of the things that you've mentioned, I mean, you know, some of the things that you've mentioned already, the IR35 and, and um, suppression of wages, we were told for years in the industry that Eastern European drivers did not suppress wages. Well, obviously, a lot of them have disappeared, and lo and behold, wages have gone up. I'll give you a couple of other examples because there's a multitude of... Re I'm 53. No, oh, sorry, 54 now. So now, at over 50, at any, at any time, my, my ability to earn a living, and I've been doing this since I was 21, I could, I could be taken off the road. I could lose my ability to have a job because of, a me because of the medicals. That's one thing. I mean, it, it isn't a good idea to have people with heart conditions and high blood pressure and sure. so on and so forth driving 44-ton trucks. We but, get that. But, you know, that's it. So that's one thing, the medical side. CPCs, Certificate of Professional Competency. It's a scam. It's an insult to the professionalism of the drivers. I have been in CPC courses where people have been asleep. I have been on CPC courses where people cannot speak English. And I myself have spent two courses of CPC, the eight-hour courses that you have to take, watching films on my phone with my earplugs in my ears. And, and this CPC, I've heard this before, uh, it stands for Certificate of Professional Competence, doesn't it, Andy? Um, mm. How often do you have to do that? And my understanding is that it's a EU ruling that we it's could actually EU get rid ruling. of which it should be taken down. If you need to drive in Europe, then you'd have to take the CPC. Sure. But it could be taken out by legislation easily. Now, here's the thing about the CPC, which people may not understand. The majority of drivers, unless you work for the big guys, post office, Eddie Stobart, Tesco's, all that guys, the majority of drivers have to, have to do their training eight hours a year or five, uh, five periods of CPC training after five years, right, on a weekend. Right. And how much does the CPC cost? Well, that's another story. Some, fir some firms pay for you to do the course. The big, the big boys, they pay for you to do the course, and they do it in the week, Monday through Friday. So you just basically come off the road for a week and do your course, or, or one day a week you come off the course. The smaller firms, slightly smaller firms, they'll pay for it, but you have to do it on the weekend. Now, sure. if you do it on the weekend, right, that cuts into your... It cuts um, into your family time. Or, I get that, well, yeah. Well, it, it cuts into your... This is a legal thing. It actually cuts into your weekly legal break or your, your, your fortnightly weekly break. So to, to comply with one EU law, the, the vast... I don't know anybody... Who, because you're meant to put anything which is connected with work. Even if I if I went in on yesterday to wash my truck, I should log that on my tachograph card as work. Right. So it's, it, right? it impacts so on... I, I get that, Andy. I'm going to have to move on, Andy, because I've got a, 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 a switchboard full of calls. But that's really helpful to understand just some of the, uh, some of the challenges, uh, issues, and the bureaucracy and the cost. Uh, and it does seem a bit odd if you still have to do a... Uh, professional competency, having been driving for 32 years. But um, that was Andy and Andover. Thank you very much for that.